Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson where we are going to use the 2D drawings in AutoCAD as a reference to create a 3D model right here in Revit. So I'll go back to AutoCAD and the method that I'm going to show you, of course, as you can see from here, we are going to use an architectural project to demonstrate on what you are supposed to do. Now you have to understand that the workflow that I'm going to show you is applicable to any discipline. If you are a structural engineer, an MEB guy or an architect, make sure that you follow from start to finish as the procedure is the same for all the disciplines. So you can see that that is the, you know, the file that I'm going to use, you know, to demonstrate on how you can export. Now, if you have a 3D model in AutoCAD, you can also export it to Revit. OK, but you have to be mindful that you cannot edit that 3D model from AutoCAD. If you take it to Revit, you can't, you know, edit it. You can just use it again as a reference, you know. You can't edit the file within Revit. But the method I'll show you will just use, you know, these 2D drawings as reference and create a 3D model. This method will help you accelerate, you know, the, the creation of the 3D model in Revit. And you not waste any time if you have a reference, you know you know drawing for you to use you know as you are aware sometimes most of the times actually you are going to have if a structural engineer are going to have you know these drawings from the architect in autocad and if you just have a structural model someone may say can you please create a structural model in 3d this is what you are going to use so stay tuned and watch from start to finish and let me not waste time and before i proceed i just want to ask you please make sure that you like my videos and subscribe to my channel that way you motivate to do more and more tutorials and let's proceed in this lesson okay before i start i just want to ask anyone who is interested in joining me in some courses on certain softwares like revit architecture revit structure you know robot structure analysis and some other courses please make sure that you check the links in the description have created some good courses where i've explained in detail from start to finish on your project so check the links in the description you might be interested so now the first thing that you need to do before you export you know these 2d drawings as a, as a reference is to make sure that you delete or turn off the things that you don't need to use in revit okay of course in our case we just want to use the floor plan whereby we just want to leave the grids the walls the doors and the windows and use this as a reference we don't need these other views as you are aware revit creates all these views the elevation the, and everything automatically so we just want to use this one so that we can quickly accelerate accelerate the placement of the walls you know the doors the grids and all these other things will come up as you already know in revit anything that you create is in 3d and you can find it in all the other views so i'll simply select these don't want that and just you know delete from my keyboard and select this other view and select it delete it from my keyboard i just have this view okay now the other thing that you need to do you are just able to turn off what you don't want to see as i mentioned if your layers are well set if you place you know different components you know as lines in different layers you can use that tool to hide your layers so if i just select on that i know that i can hide this this layer just click on it then click on yes you see that that layer will disappear but if the layers are not well set please make sure that you just did what you don't want to see okay then make sure that you just save this file you know just click on save us that is the name i want to use click on save then yes and i have prepared you know this floor plan so that i can use it as a reference in revit so let's go to revit if i just click there you see that i have revit right here and i'll simply click on new and start a new project again depending on the discipline if you're a structural engineer pick the correct template if you're an mep guy or an architect pick the correct template so in this case we are demonstrating using an architectural project so i'll pick that one then click on okay so you see that it's going to open quickly and we know that what we have here is just the, the ground floor plan so if i go to revit there i'll simply go to south and make sure that you know 
I'll just change this one to GL, okay? Because that is where I'll place my, 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 that reference, you know, to the drawing, just click on yes. Then of course, I want my walls to go to the wall plate, just WP, click on yes, All right? Then I just want to change the spacing to three, three meters, enter outside. Now, if you have a number of floors on top, it means that you have to create up and place those reference drawings at that particular level. In this case, I just have ground level and I'll just open it. This is where I want to not to insert or link my card. Okay, the file which I just saved. So here we are. I'll simply go to insert there and I'm just going to link the card. If you want, you can import the card, okay? But it's not really necessary. I just want to link it, use it to create everything and then I can unlink it or, or simply, you know, remove it or turn it off. So I'll go to link card there and that is the file. Now you can see that I just want the import units and if first of all, if I go there, actually make sure that you check the units here. So if I just type UN on my keyboard there in AutoCAD, just click on units there. You can see that the units for this drawing are in millimeters. So I'm very sure that the units are in millimeters. So if I go there, I'll go back once again to insert then link card and we have the import units auto detect. So it can detect automatically the units are still fine. Then make sure that current view because I just want to see that file within this view only. And then just make sure that you go to position and pick center to center because I want it to be in the middle of these elevation markers. Okay, that's why I'm picking center to center. So once you do that, if you want, if you don't want to preserve the colors, you can use black and white lines, but it's okay. I just want to preserve them. Then click first of all, select on it and click on open. So let's see, as you can see, we have that one there. And once you have this view as a reference, select on it and make sure that you pin it by clicking there so that you don't move it extended, then click outside. Okay, now we just want to make sure that all the dimensions are okay. The units are fine. So what I'm going to do is just go to annotate, align dimension. And remember, I left the dimension so that I can verify if I just pick that line and that line, compare the dimensions. So you see that this is exactly the same. So I'm okay with the dimensions. Now I'll just be using this as reference. And you can see that this is very, very fast, as you can see. So I'll start with the grids. If you want to start with the grids, you want to utilize them. You can just go to architecture or structure, it doesn't matter, pick on the grid, then you speak lines and you are simply able to just pick in those. You can see that you are able to convert these, you know, to the grids without a problem, as you can see from here. All right, so I will not finish. I'm just really showing you the workflow. So you can see that we have those things. If I select on that, you can, re oh, I've done it twice. I want to do once. Just like click cancel. So you see that these are now Revit object, you know, so you can even edit if you want from there. All right. So once you have that, you can continue and finish up the grids. Let's go to the walls. You can go to architecture. Before. And before I proceed, let me just check the thickness for my walls. I can go to annotate, aligned, and let me just pick that one and that one. You see, this is 150. Is it captured anywhere so that you see, as you can see, this is exactly 150. So I'll just cancel it and I need the walls which are 150. Just go to architecture, wall, architectural wall. So let me just pick the wire I want to use. I'll pick that one, but this is 200. Just go to edit, duplicate, and I want this one. I'll just rename this one to 150. Click OK and edit it under the structure there and make sure that this is 150 because I was just changing the name. Click OK, apply. OK, as you can see, then that is the 150 there. Then what you can use, you can even just use the peak lines, but for the walls, make sure that remember we are at the ground level. So we want the walls, to, we want to use the height and the height of the wall from ground is up to the wall plate. So we set it there. Then just use the peak lines and you can zoom in there and try to pick that line. As you can see, it's down there, but if you just click there, you're able to flip it. Unfortunately, it's not going aligning there. Let me just use align from my keyboard. Let me try AL as a shortcut for align. Then I'll pick that line and align it there. You see that you are able to achieve what you want. Just cancel. I'll select on that one, right click, then create similar. 
Okay, let me pick that one once again. Unfortunately, I'm not able to pick the center, but if you have the center, you're able to pick it. But really, I just have to pick one here. If I go on the other side, okay, now the walls will have to go through all the way, like on the on the wall. So I'll pick that one once again. You know, it's there. Then if I flip it, flip it, it's not going in the center, but maybe uh, there's something that I can do as I do this from here. So I'll show you later. Let me just go AL for a line once again and align this one from that side to that side. Okay. I'll go back to the walls. I change the settings. Just you know, we have the walls there, click there, and the actual wall. So walls location line for this called wall center line. Let me pick, you know, call face or finish face exterior. I've changed it here, but everything here remains the same. So you are able to identify where I've placed because now it's you know. Uh, obstructing it's not transparent it's you know it's, it's not opaque sorry it's not transparent it's opaque okay let's hope i'm using the terms correctly okay so once you change it there then let's try to use that one and pick this one if i pick that one you see that it's exactly in place because now i'm using the finish face exterior so you can go ahead and pick that one but you have to know that you need to start now trimming you know that you have this one and that one so you can go to trim pick that one and that one you're able to trim so you know where you are placing the walls if i have this one and i need to place the wall there i'll just go to architecture then pick their wall and simply place this one and pick that one and if i just pick there i can flip it you know it's in place all right so here we have this wall and this wall then we can simply trim it there by clicking on trim or tr then just pick that wall and and this wall you see it's complete now i'll not complete but you can see that this is really really fast as you are simply able to pick pick the walls you know the grids now let me show you on how you are able to place the windows of course you have to make sure that the walls you know are going all the way through the you know the windows and the doors but how do you see where the, the, the windows are you can you have two options let me go to fine level of detail you can go to wireframe okay you can go to wireframe you see that you are able to see that so but there you have the wall so you just have to make sure that if you are under hidden there you know where the walls are but you know that there is a window there you can even go to wireframe you see that you have the, wall, the window there and you want to place the window which is you know one meter there so you can just go to structure there you go to window and let me resize it to one meter i'll just go to edit there and i want the width maybe to go to one meter apply okay i will not change anything else and you are simply able to you know to place it right there as you can see we have my window so that is how you place the windows there and if i just change to hidden line so that it shows you where you are placing things and where you have not you can see that we have the window there this same is the same when it comes to the doors let me just place the wall there architecture wall there you know finish face exterior as a location line then make sure that you use pick line let me pick that one it's in place but you have to make sure that you extend it all the way through Okay, that's how a bit works and place your door there for the doors who are even able to see it outside here i'm assuming that this one is 90 centimeters the width you can just go to door there let me are we under the doors yes we're under the doors and that is the door i'm not teaching on how to pick the doors and the like i have a number of tutorials here i want to show you how you can utilize you know this card file so i'll quickly do this go to the door i can duplicate it and i want the the width to be maybe 90 centimeters which is 900 millimeters apply okay and if i just over my case there where is that was well, right here and just uh, press the space bar to flip it see the size is bigger so you can check the dimensions and see the size of the door but that is the door there okay so if let me just go to the 3d view you see that i have my walls right there as you can see these are the walls so using this method you start creating all these things without having to look at you know the dimensions maybe on a piece of paper that will take a lot of time but if you are using this method 
this will be very very fast for you and you are able to place all the walls quickly in the correct positions without missing anything you can also do the columns and everything here and once you do that you just you know turn off this one by just going to vg okay then you can go to would we have imported categories let's try to under imported categories we turn off that one and this one this is the one i brought in apply okay you can see that you just remain with what you want so guys this is the method that you have to use if you have to accelerate the creation of the 3d models in revit that is if you have you know these two d drawings from the architect or maybe you know as a structural engineer you want to create 3d model if you already have you know the design you know designed and detailed in autocad you want to create a model this is what you want to use so please make sure that you like my videos of course if you like what i'm doing subscribe to this channel and see you in some more upcoming tutorials